Now you might expect a husky to be a grooming nightmare when you look at all of that long fluffy hair, but this breed is one of the easier long haired breeds to keep up with when it comes to grooming. The breed has something of a self cleaning coat and they don't need to be bathed often and don't retain any doggy smell. Now this breed needs brushing weekly and they don't shed much unless they are blowing their coats when the seasons change, but we're going to go into a lot more detail and really help you understand the grooming requirements of the Siberian Husky in today's video. Welcome back to the Femrir Siberian Husky Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemrirK9Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you become a high level canine leader that raises perfect Siberian Husky companions. So if you love the Siberian Husky as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Husky video. So then, let's dive into today's video and talk about brushing that beautiful coat of the Siberian Husky first. Now, for weekly brushing to keep the Husky's coat and skin healthy, all you really need is a good slicker brush. Just do a quick once over to make sure you remove any of that loose hair. Now, don't get me wrong, this is an entirely different story when the breed blows its coat. The Husky's coat comprises of three parts. The guard hairs, which is the top layer of hair. These hairs tend to be thinner and more coarse and hold most of the Husky's coat pigment. The next two parts are undercoat. The Husky is one of the breeds out there that has a double undercoat. So this double undercoat makes up the other two parts of the Husky's fur. Now, because of this double undercoat, the process of shedding out the undercoat, which is commonly referred to as blowing their coat, can take up to six weeks, two times a year. Now, this is where a Furminator is going to be your absolutely best friend. A Furminator is excellent with the metal teeth that are able to reach through the guard hair to then pull out the dead and loose undercoat hairs, which are going to need to come out. And if you don't do this, it is going to come out and it will leave a layer of fur over everything in your home. Now, when using a Furminator, just simply begin brushing. Make sure to run the brush in different directions with and against the direction the hair is growing. This helps to lift the guard hairs and pull out more of the loose and dead undercoat. Once you have gone over the same area enough to no longer see the fluffy, lighter colored hairs that make up the undercoat, you know that it is your cue to move on to the next area. Now, once you are done with that undercoat brush through, you will use a slicker brush going along in the hair growth direction. This will help get any loose undercoat that might have been missed by the Furminator and it also helps clean up any loose guard hairs. It is also not a good idea to shave or trim your husky. It might sound like an easy way to avoid dealing with the intense amount of brushing that needs to be done when they blow their coat, but this can cause severe long-term problems. Huskies do not usually have skin problems, but shaving their coat can cause them to do so. It can also cause hair to grow back unevenly, which can cause significant issues in the winter when they need their fur to keep them warm, or in the summer when the guard hairs are used to protect their skin from UV light and to help keep them cool. So then now that we've covered all things brushing, it's time to move on to bathing. First, it is important always to brush your husky before bathing it, especially if it is during those times where they're blowing those coats. Just tossing them in the tub before brushing them out can cause matting and a real headache for you afterwards. Now, this breed does not require a lot of bathing. In fact, the less you can bathe a Siberian husky, the better. Their skin produces less oils than most other breeds, so they won't have a doggy smell, and bathing them too frequently can cause their skin to become dry, cracked and brittle. So unless they are really muddy or have fleas for example, you want to keep bathes to around twice a year to avoid accidental damage to their skin. Now, if it's in the winter and you live somewhere where it snows, the husky will naturally roll around in the snow, referred to as a snow bath. So if there is an abundance of snow outside, this might be a good alternative and it's something that is very natural to a husky. If you do need to bath your husky, they don't require any special conditioner or shampoos. Just a good quality organic dog specific shampoo will be good enough to do the job. Now, once you are done bathing, make sure you use your undercoat rake or the Furminator and Slick a brush again as undercoat mats very easily when it is wet, which will create hot spots or rashes. So it is critical to make sure that it is brushed out to prompt it to dry properly and not cause any of these skin issues. 
So then for eye care, ear care and nail care, the Husky doesn't require anything special unless directed by a vet. Just make sure to keep their eyes clean. If their ears are dirty, cleaning them out with a cotton swab with some ear cleaning solution is enough to get the job done. Their ears do not get dirty often and they don't need to be cleaned as often as breeds with floppy ears. So ear cleaning only needs to be done if they are filthy as other cleaning can cause infections. For nails, just make sure they don't get too long. Nails should not be touching the floor and if you start to hear a clicking sound when they walk, it's time for a nail trim, which you can do at home or simply take him to a groomer. Now, having listened to that, especially along the brushing and bathing and nail trimming requirements seems to blow your mind, but you really do want a Husky. Remember, they are professional groomers that will be more than happy to do all of that for you and is definitely another option that you can consider. So I hope you enjoyed that breakdown of the grooming requirements of the glorious Siberian Husky. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and remember, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We've got two dedicated Siberian Husky videos coming here to this channel every single week and I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femria Husky Show.